Hey guys, it's Jenny and Tater and Tot here from Creature Cove and today we're gonna do a little something different. I do have Tater and Tot here with me still for your viewing pleasure. He's gonna help me out with something else kind of cool that we found. Cool, sad, whatever, however you wanna look at it. Interesting to me in any, in any case. So we also, aside from crested geckos, we also breed Chihua geckos, which if you are not familiar with the Chihua geckos, they are one of the cutest geckos out there. Um, let me show you. I'll show you a full grown adult and I'll show you one of our newly hatched, actually the litter mate or the clutch mate to this egg just hatched out about four days ago. So let me show you that guy. So here's dad and dad is a gorgeous um, Chihua gecko, sorry. He's a Pine Island Chihua gecko and we named him Moss for obvious reasons. He's very well camouflaged for the forest. I think honestly Chihua geckos are probably my favorite gecko species, at least that we breed here. There's some other very cool ones, but he, these guys are just so cute. Their eyes, their little, little smushy faces. Oh, I just love them so much. So this is dad. And then this is baby. And I just wanted to show you him while he's on here because they're so ridiculously well camouflaged. It takes me forever to find these guys when they're just chilling on their cork bark and then their branches. But um, I'll put dad down for a second and I'll show you this one. And look at their curly tails. See if you can focus in on it. Aren't their curly tails just the cutest? If you don't think so, you don't have a heart. Oh. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I wanna smush them. And their little faces are just adorable, but their eyes are honestly just wicked cool. This is, this is, this guy is the clutch mate to this egg and he hatched out four days ago. So he's a four day old baby gecko. And I want to candle this one because normally the clutch mate, at least mine, have notoriously hatched out within two days of each other. And at four days, I was like, okay, I'll give it some extra time if it needs it but I wanted to candle it just to make sure there was movement in there and nothing seemed off or wrong. And I'll show you what I saw. This was my last Jehua egg that I had to hatch. So I'm gonna show you with a crested gecko egg what an egg should look like when you candle it and it's that far along. This crested gecko egg should hatch within 10 to 14 days. And this is what it looks like. You should be able to see many dark, like most of the egg will be dark and then you'll get a little bit of light shining through. When I candled our new egg or our Chihua egg, this is what we saw. So this to me shows that there is no baby inside, which was very bizarre to me because it was growing like any other egg would be. So when I candled it and saw nothing, my little heart broke, but again, I am curious as to what made it grow. I mean, this is literally the size and weight of a full-term Chihua gecko egg. So why on earth was it growing? What was making it grow? There's no body in there that would have, you know, forced the egg to grow like in a normal circumstance. So we are going to, I figured we'll just kind of do an egg cutting and see, I'm sure it's just gonna be goop, but wouldn't that be hilarious if we did this cutting and something actually was in there? So again, I'm not expecting to see anything, but let's take a look and see what does come out. Oh, okay, I was not expecting pussy goo. I was actually expecting like totally clear glue, goo. Uh, so, oh, it's just like our snake eggs when they don't. So this could have just been a, um, a dud, like an unfertilized little dud egg. Oh, it's gonna stink too. Huh? Yep, so that's it. Just some pussy, disgusting goo, stinky goo. Let's see if I can dump it. 
I just think it's so bizarre that it was growing. So see, it did have, there was some veins in there. I guess something just happened and it didn't take. But still, why was it growing? I mean, I'm assuming because the fluid was building up maybe. I'm not sure. Just science, man. You got to love it. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, kind of sad but cool all at the same time. I did, you know, we've got the clutch mate and super, super cute. And, um, and it was still interesting that this had happened. Who knew that a dud gecko egg would grow like it was totally normal and then at the end just not have anything. So again, I'll do, I mean, I'm gonna do some research into it and see if I can figure out why it kept growing. And if I find anything out, I will let you guys know. But for now, it's goodbye from me and the little tater and tat here, which we'll be doing another update with him soon. And he did, we did get all, all of his shed off. So that worked out well. I did take some advice from you guys. I used a, um, a Q-tip. I don't know why I have done that before with my other geckos. I don't know why I didn't think of it with this guy, but, or guys, um, or gals. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to do that sometime too, but, yeah, and it, it worked really well, really well. I soaked him in my Tupperware with some wet paper towels first, and we just worked it off, and he did amazing. He did try to bite the Q-tip a few times, but I was being very gentle, worry not, and he ate right afterwards, so he's good to go. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.